let's can we open this up and we then sure let's can. let's see what we would look at on the inside. Yep. So these top doors are called curtains and they open and they're held back over here. And this is a ramp load trailer, so obviously has a ramp on the back. So well, on the so right, the but right right off the bat, hadn't thought about it just a second ago. Um, you're having to physically pull this down and hold it, right? Boy, it seemed like to me that I would want to keep these springs. Greased, oiled? Absolutely. So one of the things we talk about a lot on ramp load trailers is the condition of what's called the spring assist. Because this ramp itself weighs a couple hundred pounds. This is an old style steel trailer. This ramp is really heavy. There's no way I'm not that strong. <laughs> There's no way I could have lowered that ramp as easily as I did without an assist. And this particular trailer, if you want to pick up that side, we can look at the assist on the bottom of this one. This has got an assist right in the middle. It's a leaf spring. We talking about right here? Yep. Okay. So it's a leaf spring underneath the trailer and that helps take some of the load of the ramp while I'm lowering it so that I don't have to stand in the middle of the ramp when I'm lowering the ramp. Because if I have a horse on there that decides they want to leave the trailer and I'm standing in the middle, I could get squashed. Okay. So because my assist is in good shape, I can oh, stand I, on the I side. Can see, I can actually, yep. it's 200 pounds, but most of the weight's right there. It's all on that assist. And, and lots of more modern trailers actually have springs in the hinges themselves that okay. help with that same weight. In capacity. fact, I'm holding whatever 200 pounds with a finger. With one finger because okay. that assist is in great shape. All right, so we've got that, again, uh, from the horse's perspective and from our safe, both of us, horse and, and you, right? Absolutely, so I can stand out of the way of the horse. If I have a okay. horse that's nervous in this trailer, I'm standing well off to the side. I'm not in a danger zone at all. Okay, all right, Robin, so we talked uh, We talked a little bit about the importance of, of basically this piece right here. Mm -hmm. It's what the horse is gonna stand on. It's what you and I are gonna lift and, and uh, uh, put down. Let's talk a little bit, because I know when we did some of the county fairs and stuff, uh, we, you were kind of persnickety about this piece right here. Right. So, so tell me when I'm looking at my trailer and I'm going to put the horse in here, some other safety features uh, outside of the tires, the lights, and the ramp. What, what does this, what, why are you looking at this for? So um, for horse trailers, a lot of them have mats in them. So this is a bit, just a big rubber mat. It helps the horse have some traction inside the trailer so their feet don't slip and it also makes it a little bit more cushioned for their ride. Um, because this is a ramp load trailer, I also have a mat on the ramp so that they can get some traction going up into the trailer. And one important thing to look at with these mats on the ramp is to make sure that they're screwed down nice and tight and smooth because horses a lot of times they might catch a foot or they come out of the trailer and they catch a foot and you want to make sure that whatever you have, it's safe and doesn't scare them. So I see the screws here uh, mm -hmm. coming up here. So I, I, it looks like it's a fabric like this. It would be easy, relatively easy for that to tear off around that screw. Is that right? Correct. If it gets dry or torn at all, it could get caught and tear off. So the good thing is they're pretty easy to replace. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now let's look at this one and um, some unique kinds of things that we see here. So when you lift this, when we lift this up. Yep, so the mat is really important to pad for the horse, but the, the most important part of the horse trailer is the floor of the trailer. So this one's wood? Yep, this is a old southern pine um, wood floor. It's been well maintained over the years, so it's solid and it's not rotted because horses will poop and pee in a trailer. Yep. And that material will rot wood if you don't clean it out of there. So, so w would one of the areas that I would be really concerned about would be on the edges of the mats? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because I assume that the pee and, the, and everything else would, would run off. Right. And so what I, I, would be, I would think that we would have, could have rot, just like wood and water, wood and urine is no different, that I would get that rot there. Absolutely. So it's really important to keep the floor clean and to inspect the floor on a regular basis. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, you made a, a good point when we were talking the other day that you think of having a horse in here, uh, four hooves, 
1,200 pounds. Mm -hmm. uh, you so do the math, you're an engineer. What's that? <laughs> so you have a lot of weight that's focused on a very small area. It's not like hauling a crate of bricks where the weight is distributed over a large area. Your weight is on four small areas, so um, the integrity of the floor and of the structure underneath is absolutely critical. Now, this one happens to be wood. Mm -hmm. so what would you say? Oh, I don't have wood, I have better. I have, a, I have what, aluminum? Aluminum, so there was a, a period of time in, in the 90s where a lot of trailer manufacturers were making aluminum trailers with aluminum floors. And many times people thought, great, I'm not going to have a rotten floor anymore like I did with the wood. The aluminum, I don't need to take care of it anymore. But that's wrong as well because aluminum can oxidize and you might not get rot, but you still get holes. That's correct. It's a rust. Yes. It basically rusts. So there's no really perfect flooring material. It's all going to require inspection and maintenance. And that's, I guess that was going to be my point. We mm -hmm. want to make sure no matter what you got that you're going to, you're going to pull it. Yes. Now. Um, what else do we have in here that, that you think that oftentimes we forget? Well, one of the things we often forget is that since the trailers sit a lot, sometimes wasps and bees oh. move into these trailers. So every time before you load your horse, you always have to make sure that nobody has moved in here that might sting your horse once they get in the trailer. So that's, and that's pretty easy so to take So you care could of. have the wasp around the house that you around the house mm -hmm. and you know it only starts off with two or three and then after a while you've got 20 30 40 right but it wouldn't take but two or three in a small nest yes. one sting and this horse could react in ways that you absolutely. would not be happy All absolutely right? and also in this particular kind of trailer so this is called a manger style trailer so the horses put their heads into kind of a box up in the front and there's a, a bottom plate that's underneath their nose and that's a manger style trailer that's where you, you could put a flake of hay or put a little bit of grain so they could eat something. But those mangers a lot of times can rust out, especially if they're steel. And sometimes if a horse panics, like if you have a quick stop or they get stung by a bee or something, they may actually jump up into the manger. So, so that actually could, could lift up and end up in the front. Yes. So it's really critical that if you have a manger style trailer, that that manger is in great shape just in case. You, again, we're talking about the 1% yes. of the time that you have a horse that decides it's a great idea to jump up in the manger, that they don't put their hoof through a rusty piece of metal. Yeah, and so what's going to happen? They're going to have it. It's going to cut. They're yes. already panicking. Yes. Now they're hurting. Yeah. And now I'm going to start trying to get out of this mess, and I'm just ripping skin, ripping bones it's or whatever. Horrible. It, yes. would be, it would be horrible. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's more than just a place to hold hay. Yes. Because people will say, well, it's fine. It's holding up my hay. But you have to think about the, you know, the worst case scenario, which is a horse jumping up in the manger. Okay. Very, that's, that's good. Very mm -hmm. good. Yep. Well, that's the trailer part. And there's always more you can check. And, and again, our, our, our point here is to kind of get some of the main, some of the key areas. Right. Uh, so now we're going to hook this thing up to a truck. So let's go talk to the truck. It's a little bit easier, actually less complicated. Thank you for joining us for this installment of the Science and Art of Trailering Horses, brought to you by Purdue University and Purdue Cooperative Extension. Please join us for the rest of the series available on this YouTube channel.